Hello guys, thank you for coming back. In this section, we are going to make entire layout by using Merstick boilerplate I've made. The reason why I use the Merstick boilerplate is if I make it from the very scratch, it will take too long time to build the whole application and I really want to focus more on movie app clone than just the basic feature. But if you really want to know more about the basic feature choose, I already made the videos for the boilerplate. So if you come to my channel, you see a lot of videos for boilerplate I've made. And then we will also connect our MongoDB database into our application. These two things are the things that we are going to do in this video. So first we go to the boilerplate repository. So I am going to leave the URL below so you can come in here with that URL. So you can download this file or you can just clone it. So I'm going to download this one. Download zip. You can save this repository in the folder you want to save. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to open it in here i get this one this name will be boilerplate merge deck master so first you can change the name for me i'm going to say react youtube app and then i'm going to turn on the editors i really like the visual studio code and then i drag the file i downloaded inside the editor and then i make it bigger to let you see more easily there and there are some processes we need to do to run this application so first we need to do npm install the reason why we need to do npm install is if we see in here package.json there are some dependencies we already downloaded uh, in the server part so to download these dependencies that we need to do npm install so click it so if you finish it, or if we see the client and then package.json, there are also dependencies that we need to download for the client part. Clear. And first we need to go to client part, cd client, and then we need to do npm install again as well. So now we finished downloading dependencies for the server and the client part. So there is one more thing that we need to do is that we have the mongodb so we are going to use the mongodb for our database so we need to connect that database into our application so to do that so if you come in here config and the key and production so first we need to make the file named dev.js dev means development and prod means production so if we are developing our application in development mode so we are going to use this one so if we run our application in production mode we are going to use this one so mongo uri so in here we need to write this one module exports and mongo uri we have this one copy and paste it and so in here we need to bring some secret key from the mongodb so first to get this secret key so first we need to go to mongodb website we flip over to our web browsers and we need to type mongodb uh, db and click this one to go inside mongodb and so if you don't have an account for the mongodb you can just click the try free so the signing up the mongodb is really straightforward so i'm not gonna do it by myself so if you don't signing up this mongodb so you can just sign in so if you come in here uh, first thing you need to do is the you need to build a new cluster so we will click it i'm going to just choose aws and um, there we are going to use the free tier so don't worry about paying something so to use the free tier so you're going to choose the one which has this free tier tag so i live in the soul but soul doesn't have free tier so i'm going to 
click the Singapore where it is the closest to Seoul so for your cash depending on where you live you can just click just the once the, with the free tier tab and then we're gonna just uh, click this create cluster and then you can just uh, click in and click in and I already have it so I'm not going forward from here so so I'm going back and so in here after making it so you need to come in here database assess so so in here so we need to make mongodb user so we need to click the add new user so in here we need to type a user na name so i'm going to type the j1 in here we need to type the password so i'm going to type just anything but in here i want you to remember the name and the password because we need to write these two variable in here so that's why you need to remember it and then after typing these two so you can we can just click the add user uh, i already have this name so i type in like this add user uh, so after making our mongodb user here so we click the cluster so now we need to click this connect button and then in here uh, we can click connect your application this one and in here um we need to copy this one so we copy it and then uh, we just need to paste it in here so if you see in here you can see the username and the password so in here so you can just uh, put the username you just made and then the password so for me j1 on and and for password into three four five six seven and then you can just uh, save it so now we did everything for running this uh, mars tech application now we are going to run this application by typing first we need to go back to our server directory to do that cd dot dot and then in here we can just type npm run dev so if you have this kind of error address already in use the 5000 that means uh the other server already is running on the 5000 port so because we are we are using the 5000 port for the server if you see in here and then if we go down so we our application is listening to 5000 port in the development mode so we are going to first kill that server that is running 5000 by typing p kill and node and then we are going to type npm run dev again to run our application so this is our starter point for our youtube clone so if i first briefly explain about this starter point so we already have a sign up feature and then sign in feature so this feature uh, include the JWT web token and if we see our code in here even the Redux the state management part is also already included in here uh, in the SRC action and reducer but well, we are not going to use the reducer a lot we are going to use the reducer for only user data state so if we come in here and if we just turn on our Redux extensions so in here you can see the user's data uh, we didn't log in yet so that's why is authentication force and error but if we log in so log in here so i already signed off with this user account after signing in if i turn on the redux extensions so we can see is us changed into true and then user's id and user's email and name aurora and image is included in the redux container even the login success is true because of read login so if you don't know about the redux yet uh, it actually doesn't matter just that we are not going to use the redux a lot we come back in here so from here we are going to really make the website so i hope it will be really helpful for you and thank you for watching this video and see you later thank you